Hello there, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is Demogen in Post speaking. Uh, this is the final of quite a few, quite a few attempts that I took at the Corrupted Monk. I did figure out a strategy that I thought would work, and this is I think maybe the fourth time that I uh, implemented it and it is the one that actually worked. So I'm using some confetti there to do extra damage to spirits such as this guy and I'm using the firecrackers because they actually stun him for a reasonable long time. The other thing that I'm doing is going counterclockwise around him for the most part. That seems to be the easiest way of staying out of his reach. But yeah, it's mostly just a case of, as is often the case, getting good, getting better. And a little bit of luck as well. But there is a definite combination of tools that that seems to work best for this fight. And for me, it was, uh, it was these. The firecrackers and the confetti. I'm sure you can beat him other ways. But as you can see, he's still doing a massive amount of posture damage to me. Probably should have put my confetti back on by this point. In fact, there we go. That was unfortunate. That was my last... Uh, use of the firecracker <laughs> it was also me dying so the last use of the firecracker um, and I wasn't on my feet to take advantage of it I seem to recall this gets quite hairy as we go towards the end of the fight especially if I'm going to keep on dodging like that and like that and like that I'm starting to panic, I think, at this bit, because I'm out. I think this is pretty much all the, the confetti that I've got left. And I'm not entirely sure where I get more. But you'll notice that you can duck under that spinning attack if you go clockwise, uh, counterclockwise and you are close enough. But yeah, he's... Uh, obviously, his posture is getting reasonably high but his health is getting quite low it's like don't panic and then do something stupid like that and I do end up using a uh, a divine grass here because I just could not be bothered to face him again you can buy divine grass from one of the vendors so at some point, I will farm up cash for him, but you can lose that health so quickly. He's almost dead. I'm not entirely sure why that didn't hit then. Don't panic, don't panic. And... Oh, that was a boss. Memory, Corrupted Monk, the battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Corrupted Monk watched over the cave entrance, deep in Mubu village. A secret method of breathing known as the Mubu breathing technique. Latent skill allows one to dive underwater as breathe underwater indefinitely. Oh. That opens up a lot of ideas and areas. Ah. Ah. Remnant. The 
corrupted monk donned her mask, donned the mask of a fierce guardian deity, her form was nebulous, appearing as if in a dream. What reason could there have been for guarding the Mibu village cave entrance? What indeed? What indeed? Onwards! And hello! <laughs> I wasn't sure whether I was going to tack this on to the end of a previous episode or... Um... Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Ooh, that popping! A flower? Oh! Oh no! A shelter stone. A stone found on an altar deep within the village of the water dwellers. Stones will sometimes appear in the bodies of those who have long drank from the fountain of the waters. Step into the marital shrine and offer the fragrant auspicious stone. One of the incense ingredients sought by the divine heir for immortal severance. Okay. Um. Um. <laughs> What the? Is that a massive rope? It looks like the end of a massive rope. No snack? No snack. Huh. Well, I've got a thing, and I don't know what the thing is for, but I do know that the ability to go underwater brings with it many, many possibilities. Because there were a lot of places with water. Um. Not least of which, right at the start of the game. Yeah, that there's a load of places that we can explore now. Ring, ring. I, I can't imagine there's going to be much in at most of them. But I know there was some swimmable water over here, and I imagine there will be some in the reservoir. I'm glad I didn't send our uh, purple... Underwater movement. Mibu breathing technique grants the ability to breathe underwater. One can remain underwater indefinitely. And as predicted, a thing. Right. I wonder then if that means we can... Uh, this is probably quicker to get back to a statue. 
Uh, I wonder if that means that we can fight the carp more easily. Right, I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm going to need more Divine Confetti. Before I go and try and face off against this guy down here. Let's head... To... The Estate. Because there's a lot of water down here. And I'm wondering how much of it we will be able to dive under. I mean, the obvious place that we need to go is that uh, ca that icy cave that we got to. How did I go from here? Oh, yeah. Whoop. Any carp down there? Mine. I'm assuming there will be rocks and stuff to block our progress in places. Oof! That was cool. The thing here. Oh! More carp scales. Don't mind if I do. Ah. Yeah, it's just, uh, we've just got an invisible wall. Maybe we can also get somewhere in the... I really like that jump. Uh, maybe we can get somewhere in the... The underwater section in the abandoned dungeon now. Hi, dog. Bye, dog. And down we go. Yeah, we can, uh... Hello. More scales? Right. Uh, floating passage. The withered red gourd. Gourd, even. Also, we can buy divine grass from him. I want the mask fragment first. I'm assuming the carp respawn. But in all truth. I may need to... Yeah, I may need to reset. Which is fine, because there's a... Uh... There's a shrine just over here. Wom. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh! Didn't see you there. Died. Right. Have the car reset. We. We. Um. Huh. I actually can't see any. Um, so maybe there are only a limited number of carp in the game. Yes, it appears that there might be. So do I have to make a choice? about what I want to get, I wonder. I don't know why we can't just open that gate, but whatever. Ow! So what are you thinking you're going to do hiding behind there, mate? That worked. did I want yeah that was totally what I wanted to do oh well actually while we're here any hidden things oh bad fish Ah, much easier to kill now. Yeah, so th this may well mean that we can get somewhere in the depths. Might go there and check next. Doesn't seem to be any carp down here, though. Right, that's the What's It Temple. Not actually where I want to go. It's 
Sneaky. And reset. Yeah, I think I'm having an unresponsive controller day. Ah, so they do despawn. You can't tell that from above. Or maybe, maybe they just f fled into the wall. That would also possibly work. Must admit, I was expecting more things hidden under the water. Maybe I just can't see the shiny bits. Uh, how do we get out? Yes, there. Brain not working. Right. I actually want to go back down. Right. Travel. Uh, there. Right, let's see what's hidden under the water here. And yes, I know I can go and buy some carp for later things now. Okay, that's a lot easier now. Oh, you can actually aim which way you want to. Ooh. Coin. 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 Ah, yeah, there is more under here. So that's why it seemed like such a meh area. Uh, though I am hoping <laughs> that there's not some kind of Wicked underwater boss. Ah, now he, I remember, we did go down there before, but we didn't. Because we couldn't go through here. What's Agward me? Don't know. Hmm. Soul balloon? Didn't I see? Yeah, so we couldn't get here before at all. Because it was all underwater. So this is a route round to who knows where.
Oh. Behind? Dusaku's note, an old note left by the surgeon, Dusaku. My disciples have abandoned me for Dogen, unwilling to dirty their own hands. They all left me for that hypocritical quack, Dogen. My last disciple. Even if I die, the research must continue. Finish the procedure for Ashina's sake. Well, I think he's probably going to attack us. No? No, he's not. That's fine. Okay. So that gave us uh, additional options. Options are good. Running away is also good. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Oh, five thousand. Yeah, we haven't got that, have we? Right, let's go back and get the uh, the cop thing while I think about it. And we may end up leaving it there. I was only going to have a couple of goes at that boss and see whether I could actually beat him or at least get him down to a a reasonable percentage. Whoops. That worked. Ha! Bye, doggy. Right. Carp man. I want to know what this mass fragment's for. I did. I did. Please bring more scale soon. Uh, inventory. Key item, I'm assuming. Oops. Mask Fragment Rights. Yeah, I'm guessing probably three pieces? Something along those lines? Yeah, so I think there must be a limited number of carp in the game. Okay, that is going to do us for today. That is definitely going to do us for today. I'm going to have a think about where else we can go, but generally speaking, it's uh, it's getting late, so it's about time I went and got some sleep. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this Sekiro gameplay. I am still very much enjoying the game, salty as I may be getting at times. Catch you all in the next one. Toodle pip. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.